rip C section. Honestly, if they wanted that item to be picked up, they should have made it not break your game when it came out. It never broke your game, it just didn't exist for a bit. It literally won the subreddit tier 4 poll. I'm gonna give you a second to delete that message, okay? Because you're gonna get a lot <laughs> You're gonna realize we're operating in the discussion with different levels of enthusiasm. I've saved your life. That was like when that dude admitted to being a landlord in chat, you know? You gotta give him a second to get away. Sometimes people get excited, they say things they don't think about, like you gotta know your audience, right? You gotta read the room. What the hell is the subreddit tier 4 poll? Subreddit tier 4. So there was a Binding of Isaac... Uh, r slash Binding of Isaac thread. That was, what's the best tier 4 item in the game? And the six people that visit the subreddit every day gave their opinion on... I'm not knocking this... I've got nothing against the, the Isaac subreddit. I'm just saying this game's old, man. It's not r slash Destiny. Or like r slash Halo, where people are just like the developers... Uh, does anybody else think it's fucked up that developers are sleeping seven and a half hours of ni uh, a night and yet we still don't have access to the damn battle pass? Or <laughs> slash Destiny the game. Well, it's neither of those two subreddits, okay? My point stands. Our Halo is hilarious to read. I do like the new trend of, um, sometimes subreddits will have, like, a, a no-salt version. Like, occasionally when someone would leave, like, a comment, eh, I really enjoyed the stream today, but there was, like, ten seconds of it that I found uncomfortable when he was saying so He said that he didn't think that, um... The Square's Avengers game was very good. Well, I'm just here to tell... And then I would go check their post history. And the post history would be like... Seven posts a day on r slash no salt Avengers or no sodium Avengers or whatever it is. And I'm like, oh man, I love that. I love that we're now at a place where like the default subreddits are so toxic. People are like, I'm gonna... It's like the opposite of what the internet started as which was like everything so sanded off in pc i'm gonna make a website where i can post whatever the fuck i want no matter how messed up it is then we took that shit way too far now people are like i gotta create my own little area to keep that out and we're gonna make some rules that are like you have to be nice in here because we're sick of all the meanness i mean there's some merit to it like, I would never go to the Halo subreddit right now. I mean, you know, let's let's go take a look. Reddit.com slash r slash Halo, okay? Top post. Come on, this would be great comedic timing. Halo 4, Guardians, and Infinite each feel like the first installment in different trilogies. I want a game set in the Human Covenant War. I agree, this game's totally broken. A lot of our stuff is unlocked through playing the game and only through playing the game and then it's an image with like all the stuff that can't be unlocked through playing the game. I did the math for Infinite's premium cosmetics since launch. If you do the average amount of credits per week since launch minus all the BS discounts, every week for one player costs $40 to keep up with the weekly rotation of cosmetics. 40 multiplied by 36 weeks gets us to $1,440. Just, I, mean, I guess I feel for the Halo fan base. But there is a part of me that's like, I mean, it, I think it's good that people like expose things like, hey, if you want to be, if you want to like guarantee that you get to max level in Diablo Immortal, you need to spend $500,000. I think that's like a great little news bite to be out there. I can fly, by the way, um, to inform people. But I, I do sometimes think if you've made like more than two angry posts on a video game subreddit, that perhaps the best thing for you personally is to just engage in cessation of playing it. Because I think you could, you, you know, you it, obviously you're not happy with things. I'm sure that. You're like, it would be nice. I'm just trying to, like, fix the game so I could get the game that I would actually like. Well, 
it's not here. You should, like, you know, I'm not saying to touch grass. I'm just saying play something else. Find another game to hate on, like League of Legends. Don't curse people to that. They curse themselves to it. I mean, I've, I, what have I said many times, you know? I, I think that there's, uh, like, I, I understand that I, I was in the Crucible with you when I played Dota. I played Dota like four hours a night in the summer of 2014. And then just one day I was like, wh how, what percentage of this time would I say I'm actively enjoying? And I was like 10 to 25% at best. And then I said, well, I'm gonna use like my human brain and I'm gonna override my animal brain and say, fuck this game. This is actively making my life like a little bit worse. Even if it is just you know, eroding my leisure time and using it in an inefficient way. Just like, I could be having more fun doing something else. Who did you play? I played everyone, man. I have a perfect win rate as Invoker. I think it's four games, four wins, or like six games, six wins. I also have like a 21% a win rate as Vengeful Spirit. Which is pretty crazy, because I'm pretty sure she basically just has a stun. Like, I'm not sure how I could be so ass at a character that's pretty much just, like, a stun. And then, as Invoker, I'm like, I don't know, I was, like, face stomping people. My streamer plays support? Dude, in MOBAs, I love to play support. Absolutely. I love to be the guy buying wards. I don't complain about people not buying wards. I buy the wards. I buy the sentries. I don't rush my boots. I make sure the team is doing as, as well as possible. I'm not saying I was good at support, but I at least, like, I bought the shit. What was your invoker build? I, um, Big Ball of Ice was, I think, but Big Ball of Ice and then Ice Magic Spell that slowed people down, so they got hit by more Ice Magic Spell that slowed them down, so they got hit by more Ice Magic Spell that slowed them down. Those, those were big ones. And then the occasional, um, the occasional Sun Strike, just because if, like, it's the greatest thing in, um, in MOBAs is the, like, no-look skill shot. Like, if you could land, you, you see, you, you get someone down to 25% at mid, they run away, then you just look at the map and you're like, I'm Ancient Apparition, I launch my ult, and I set it off right now. Nine times out of ten, you get nothing. One time out of ten, you see it pop up in the kill feed, and you're like, I'm a damn genius. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the smartest player this game's ever seen. I'm not going to start playing Dota again. I'm telling you, I have okay control over parts of my animal brain. Not perfect. I do eat a lot of chicken tenders. Coughing pill wore off. Might be, it might be trying time for a second dose of the Benelin. I just don't want to like start robo-tripping on stream. I don't think I'm at great risk of it. I mean, the last dose was like four hours ago, but...